Morning geckos are a small, hardy, and social gecko species, suitable for a beginning reptile keeper. They are an excellent inhabitant for naturalistic and live vivariums. Housing. Morning geckos are comfortable at room temperature, between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, about 18 to 27 Celsius. They do not require specialized lighting. These characteristics allow for some flexibility in terms of suitable enclosures for this species. These tiny geckos are adept at escaping, however, so it is important to ensure that there are no crevices or gaps in the enclosure. The most basic enclosure consists of a ventilated container with a paper towel substrate, some sticks or vines for climbing, at least one hide per gecko, and food and water dishes. This enclosure is suitable for hatchlings to juveniles up to about three months old. A more naturalistic setup can include a cocoa fiber substrate with a top dressing of sanitized dry leaves, branches, hides made of bark, and with sufficient lighting, potted plants. A live vivarium with a drainage layer, ABG mix, or similar substrate, and thriving live plants is the most attractive option in terms of appearance as well as ease of maintenance. Morning geckos are often kept along with dart frogs in such setups. When choosing lighting for a planted vivarium, keep in mind that morning geckos can become stressed if temperatures exceed 85 Fahrenheit, about 29 Celsius. If parts of their enclosure approach this temperature, make sure that the geckos have a cool area to which they can retreat. Various hides should be available in the form of plants, gaps in cork bark, bamboo tubes, or similar. Maintenance Feeding any of the popular high-quality crested gecko diet powders can be used as a staple diet. These are simply mixed with water and offered in a small dish. Prepared diets can typically be left in the enclosure for 36 to 48 hours. If the food begins to dry out after a day or so, it can be misted with water. Some keepers choose to use prepared food exclusively with good results. Insects, however, are a natural part of a morning gecko's diet and can also be fed. Flightless fruit flies, melanogaster or hydei, are readily eaten. My geckos also eat small isopods, bean beetles, flower beetle larvae, and occasionally very small crickets. Food is best offered in a shallow glass or plastic dish, such as a petri dish. If prepared diets are used exclusively, no calcium supplementation is necessary. If insects make up a significant portion of the diet, they should be lightly dusted with a calcium powder containing a small to moderate amount of vitamin D3. Morning geckos require periods of higher humidity to help them shed. Their enclosures should be misted once or twice daily. At this time, the geckos may drink from the droplets that form on the surfaces within the enclosure. They will also drink readily from a small dish, which should always be available. Change the water and clean the dish several times per week to prevent bacterial buildup. The use of distilled or RO water will help prevent mineral deposits from building up on the sides of the enclosure. Live and naturalistic vivaria will need minimal cleaning. The glass and plant leaves will need to be misted and wiped down where soiled. A healthy population of springtails and isopods will help keep the substrate clean. If you use paper towels as a substrate, replace them frequently, every day or every other day as needed. The enclosure walls will also need to be wiped down regularly. Remove the geckos and wash the entire enclosure thoroughly about once a week. Though morning geckos are mainly nocturnal by nature, they are often active during the day. This is especially true when you keep a group of geckos together. If you feed the geckos during the day, they will soon learn to emerge from their hiding places to eat. Keep two or more geckos together, as this species, though territorial, prefers to live in groups. Two common behaviors you will likely observe among the geckos are chirping and tail waving. As you may know, morning geckos reproduce without the need for a male. A single gecko is capable of reproducing by itself, but you may have better results with more than one. Between the ages of 7 and 10 months, healthy morning geckos will simply begin to lay eggs. The eggs are white, very small, and hard-shelled like a bird's egg. They are usually laid in clutches of two. Single eggs are not uncommon, however. The eggs are glued to surfaces, and if they are attached to the enclosure itself, it is usually best to leave them attached, as removing them without damage can be difficult. Typically, the eggs are laid high up in the vivarium, though occasionally they will show up in other places. Not all of the eggs will develop. If an egg is cracked or defective, the adults will often eat it. Depending on temperature, the eggs may take approximately two to four months to hatch. Most of mine seem to hatch in about three and a half months. 
Adult morning geckos will sometimes bother or even eat hatchlings, so it may be best to protect the eggs by removing the adults to another enclosure before the young hatch, or to remove the young right after they hatch. Some people prefer to leave the babies with the adults. As long as plenty of food, water, and shelter are available, a number of the young should survive. Caring for hatchling geckos is very similar to caring for adults. The young will begin eating dusted fruit flies within a few days. Soon they will also learn to take prepared gecko diet as well. Keeping the hatchlings in smaller enclosures may help them find food and allow you to observe them more easily. A ventilated 32-ounce deli cup with a paper towel substrate, a branch or two, and a food and water dish is sufficient for two hatchlings for a couple of months. By the time the geckos are four months old, they will be nearly as long as the adults. They seem to reach full adult length and reproductive maturity at about seven to ten months old. Morning geckos tend to be rather skittish and quick. They are not likely to become as calm as crested or leopard geckos, for example. If regularly handled from a young age, however, some individuals can become considerably less shy.